because you know there's growing animosity uh, and interest in a new platform. Oh, cool. So those are those are the two that we're most interested in, kind of like taking people off. That that was our Shinoka one. We'll use VStream instead. Okay. Mm. There's definitely a, a long climb to make when it comes to uh, trying to replace us. I do know that Reddit, Reddit and Hold Twitter on. are having some issues. You write right something. Now. Twitter's a little bit different from Reddit, but like with Reddit's big issue, oof. I mean, if you come in with something good, yeah. they probably will move over. <laughs> I'm hoping. Uh, I, I can. That's I can not what it is, but. To go into our plans there. Um, I'm yeah. happy to talk about the product that we're thinking about building, but um. For sure, I, I think we, we call it fan forums, mm -hmm. uh, but like, yeah, it would be kind of like a forum dedicated to a channel. Okay, you can talk about it a little bit if you'd like. Sure. Uh, so, so basically, one of the original ideas we had for this community thing is like, let's just build a forum type stuff where people can post things, they can be upvoted, they can be downvoted, you know, there could be threaded comments, everything you kind of expect from a Reddit type situation. Mm -hmm. And that, that was our original idea on like how to kind of like build a community feature into vstream and these forums could be tied to a channel and stuff like that um, oh it is on youtube the problem that we had with that idea oh the ost yeah is we we went to our discord server um our vstream discord Hold server, on, let me get this, this idea larger there, because i have like, this people ver everyone poo pooed it they were like i think that's a really bad idea and the reason why people felt like it was a really bad idea was interesting and something that we hadn't considered which was most of the creators that were in our server at the time were smaller creators people mm -hmm. did, that were either early in their careers or didn't have massive audiences yet and they're like look for that forum to be useful i need a lot of fans to be posting stuff on my behalf like interesting articles and fan art and you know all these things and i don't have a legion of fans that are just going to do that for me what a forum i'm interested in vstream is because you're a new platform that i could be potentially a big fish on mm -hmm. and we're like you know they're like you know and also, Reddit kind of works for me right now. Uh, this Visually, they're just playing Warframe, so it doesn't matter. Um, but then they followed up and said, but you know what platform is not working for me right now and I would love for you to replace is Twitter. Um, because what's nice about Twitter for me as a smaller creator is Twitter is all about amplifying my voice, right? The, the forum is really good about amplifying the voice of my fans, but the, the social feed, right, aspects of Twitter is really good about amplifying my voice as a creator because when people repost me and, and all that stuff, you know, people who are not yet my fan get exposed to my content. Um, and it's really, really useful for me to kind of, like, break out and build my initial fan base. And we're like, you know what, that's a really good point and something that we had not considered. Let's, you, you know, you're right. Uh, let's, let's pivot and focus more about, like, creating a social feed into vstream instead where fans and creators can be posting to mm -hmm. um the problem or not the problem as we started to explore that i i still had this forum idea in the back of my head and i still really liked it because i really liked the idea of like the community coming together and voting on things and all that stuff and what i realized is there's actually a really really interesting marriage of the two ideas that you can do okay which is Reddit. Hashtags. Yes, hashtags so, are very big. Uh, yes, so almost every you know creator has some form of like an art hashtag that they tell their fans to like, oh, you have fan art of me, post it on this hashtag. The problem with hashtags on Twitter today is they are not owned by that creator, right? Technically, anyone can post anything to that hashtag. It doesn't have to be related to that creator. Um, and, you know, the problem is if you're a fairly larger size creator, uh, there's bots out there that will, you know, discover popular hashtags and start posting, like, Billy Billy links or, you know, all kinds of advertisements and whatever on there, which then floods your hashtag and makes it useless. Or if you have a bunch of aunties, you know, a bunch of people that just do not like you for some reason, it's a great place to, like, attack someone, which is also not great and not doesn't feel good that this place that you are directing your fans to now has a bunch of hate comments in there. Mm -hmm. um, and that kind of sucks. And a lot of creators agree that that doesn't feel very good about those hashtags. And I was like, wait a second. What if you could own those hashtags? Right? Like, it's 
called a, fo- a form topic channel. It's a form board. It's a board. It's, it's a form topic channel. It already exists. Sorry. Why is it that you can't quote unquote own them? Mm-hmm. And so the idea with Vstream is that by default, everything kind of works in a social feed type manner, right? Where you can just be posting stuff. Uh, your fans will see it, or you can, as a fan, you can be posting stuff, and your friends and other people, all, all your other followers would see it, you know, stuff like that, like normal. But after your c- channel gets over a certain size, and maybe you progress past a certain level on Vstream, which is what our progression system is kind of based off of, is called levels. Yes. Um, uh, you can petition Vstream to, like, own a certain hashtag. And we'd have a lot of rules that, like, probably your username has to be in the hashtag, and you can't just own hashtag baseball or whatever. But <laughs> eventually you can, like, own one of these hashtags. And now what happens is when people make social posts that include that hashtag, it will now – all of those posts will now be aggregated into this fan forum type place. Mm-hmm. And within that fan forum, the things that have been posted with that hashtag can be upvoted and downvoted commented on all this but but not only that they can now be moderated so the same people who moderate your chat or your channel moderators can now moderate the posts posted to that uh, hashtag and so if something doesn't belong there or you know is breaking rules or what have you they can just kick it out which just means it disassociates the social post with that uh, hashtag post Mm -hmm. or that fan form Um, and also you know your community can self-moderate Right, they can downvote things that they know don't make uh, match community values and, and things like that. Um, and I think this is going to be like a really interesting uh, combination because it helps both sides of the creators. It helps smaller creators initially and lets VStream act as a voice amplifier for them to get discovered and build their initial audience. But then after you build that audience, now you have a really interesting ramp into this place where now you can start amplifying the voice of your fans and the fans can start to um, help produce content on your behalf through the things that they post. And more than that, we plan to make this all monetizable for the creators. I have thoughts. Uh So one of the really things that I really like about Reddit is the idea of gilding posts or gilding comments via uh, Reddit coins. So for folks that don't know what that is, um, effectively, you can buy this virtual currency that Reddit calls Reddit Gold or Reddit Coin. I just don't remember. Um, and you can then use that to basically apply cosmetic effects to posts and comments. So it doesn't affect their I hate reality. that effect. I really effect. hate it, actually. It does, it's just a fun way to interact with the community and, like, you know, give someone kudos and stuff like that. We want to do something similar where you can basically buy this cosmetic uh, currency to be used in these fan forums except the currency will basically be tied to that channel, to that forum. And when you buy, let's say, 100 coins for $100, I'm making up numbers here and making up names because I don't have good names for any of this yet. You're fine. Um, 50% of that will go to the content creator themselves. And so you know as a, as a fan that basically me participating in the community here and doing this fun thing basically acts as additional revenue line for the creator that I really want to support. And as a creator... Now you're making passive income on Vstream just by having your community hang out here, uh-huh. which is really, really interesting uh, and novel. Uh, and I, it gets a lot of creators that we talk to very excited because they don't have to be streaming 24-7. Right. right. I think for a lot of streamers, they feel the pressure of not streaming, right? Which is like, if I'm not streaming, I'm not making money, which, you know, I, I feel bad taking a vacation. I feel bad about doing all this stuff. And... I really want streaming to be sustainable for people. I really uh-huh. want people to Don't worry, I'll get there. I'm just listening for now. And I'm not like just stressed all the time in any way that we can give people passive income uh, either via advertisements or via these fan forums. I think it's better. And what's better about the fan forums and advertising is like your fans are technically having a good time. Right. Right? The, right. the advertisements I don't think make the platform better or make it so that people are enjoying themselves, but this is a way that literally your fans have a good time and you make money. Right. Uh, and I think that's uh, I, that's why I'm really excited about the idea. No, yeah, that, that seems like a really decent idea. Kind of just touching on the whole people being afraid that they shouldn't stream and all that stuff. Yeah, the, the funny thing is when I, when I started streaming, um, and my, the, my man, my... I think this is going on a different uh, topic part. Okay, so let's, let's get the jams back on. Oh god, that's loud. Ugh! Okay, um... 
<laughs> okay. So Reddit is a link aggregator form. It's called a link ag aggregator, but it works like a form. It, it is a you a form, if you don't know, if you're younger, if anyone's going to go back and watch this, um, is that you have a form board, and on that board you have many different boards that work the same, that usually are topic-based. So you have a topic-based form that, like, um, you have... I used to moderate for the Poke Community Forms. So there was a Poke Community Form for art. Previously, it was an art section, and then there was graphic arts, pixel art, whatever, but then it got merged into just like general arts, uh, like cre creativity and art. And then there's a form for ROM hacking and things like that. Within those subforms, you have um, tags. You basically have you can have, I don't know about the Poké community, but you can have, like, tags to be like, this is a fan, y you can, actually you can. You have, this is a fan game, this is a work in progress, or this is a gallery, this is a challenge, this is an event, this is an announcement. So having tags, so calling it hashtags and organizing the forms based on hashtags one hashtag being the form does not make sense. Hashtag is a weird Twitter thing that happened and became a phenomenon, but hashtags are tags. Tags are meant for category categorization. Tags are meant to categorize some type of information. So there's really no reason why you would need to have the creator have one hashtag and then that would end up being their entire base of their community based on one hashtag name. It should just be Miss Nina's form. You just called yeah Twitter. <laughs> Shut up, I was making a joke. <laughs> but um uh Tags are more of a Tumblr thing. Well it's not a Tumblr thing. I'm I'm talking about forms. Old ass form boards. I'm talking two thousands. Pre Tumblr, pre pre Tumblr, pre X, pre all this bullshit. I'm talking about fucking BB BB forms. Um, there's no reason for it to be a tag that collects all of your crap together. It should just be Miss Nina's fan form. And then I should have the power to, if you don't want to make different sections, that's fine. Um, like, uh, even if you don't want to have different sections or have different links or whatever, that's fine. But having it Reddit style, so you have like a subreddit. Because uh, he he mentioned Reddit, you have subreddits that are forms. There there they are forms. So each subreddit is a a form section, and then all the posts go together within that form. But they have categorical tags. They have they're called flares, but th they're tags. They're categorical tags. They're called they call them flares, but that's what they are. Um, so you can distinguish between them as this meme content, discussion content, etc. So to use a form to help a Content creator seems like a great idea. I actually uh, started started thinking about running my own form if I got enough of a community because I like forms. I like things that are off of Discord because Discord has terrible form system, doesn't have a lot of permanence, doesn't have search, things like that. So I wanted to make my own form, um, but I just don't have the audience for it. So having this on Vstream is great, but there's no reason it needs to be under a hashtag. It should be Miss Nina's fan form, or call it something else. And then from there, you have categorical tags. Uh, so I can say meme, discussion, announcement, questions. So if I want to have a question from someone... Yeah, because I don't know what the visuals of how they're looking at it, of why it would look different from a form, and why it would need to be a hashtag instead of something else. But it should, it should just basically be a form, a mini form. For your for your thing, so I could have a game of the day, a me a meme of the day. I could have different things. It doesn't make sense to me to put it into a tag related to myself when it's on a form that's related to myself. If it's a form, I just have the form. I should have a tag that's related to the content, not to it being me because it's already part of my own thing. But this means that either. He's just not understanding. I don't know how old he is, if he knows much, a lot about forms or not. Um, uh, but 
it makes me think that those these things are going to come within the feed. Like, it will show up like a feed in Twitter, so it'll have the hashtag and it'll have that. And it'll be a collection of feeds and upvotes and downvotes of all of your stuff. Of, of like, if you sub to three different people, depending on if fan forms are sub only or they are they open for everybody. Um, if you follow three people and you get all three of their fan form content mixed together in a chronological fashion that's not a form anymore. That's the front page of Reddit. That's a link aggregator. So the upvotes and downvotes don't super matter and then having them have the stardust, which is described in the um, notion, doesn't really make sense to have it on a creator basis if they are going to all be connected together into one feed. That doesn't make sense. So... I'm not sure where in the pipeline it would have, like, visually what it would look like. Because right now, on if you look at your, your thing, it has feed as a button. What does it mean when I click on my feed? What does that mean? Like, so that's a good question, is what does it mean when I click on the feed button on my VStream profile? Does it show my feed of my posts? replies to other people replies to other creators or is it showing my fan form or hashtags that are about me there's a there's a confusion confusion between fan form and feed you can have both i 100 percent believe you can have both but it needs to have an underlying form structure because reddit is is underlying form structure. People don't think it's a form, but it is. It works like a form, exactly. It's just upvotes and downvotes are, upvotes and downvotes are weird. And the Reddit, um, the, it was, it was re originally called Reddit Gold and you awarded Reddit Gold for a good post. So you bought money, you bought Reddit Gold to help support Reddit. And you gave it onto a post and it had like a little icon and you said, yep, I like that icon. And then they added Reddit coins and these coins bought you different like flares and posts. I think they called them flares. I, I don't know why they called them flares. They called them something else, but they added these visual effects and pretty much everyone on Reddit universally said, I fucking hate these. I don't want to see this flaming bullshit. And every single one of the third party apps turned that shit off and made that not show up like either that was never an option in the first place or they had the option to disable it and that's why people didn't use the official well okay there's a few reasons why people didn't use the official mobile reddit just in general but um one of those was turning off those animations because those animations on those things are a nightmare especially for accessibility purposes accessibility purposes you should limit motion reduction you should have that option so and if you have the option to turn off those animations and there's no point in people paying for those things if everyone's just going to turn them off so visually that shouldn't work having the award system like the reddit gold reddit silver having the little icons that's fine that's perfectly fine but the visual the visual like everything was on fire or whatever, or t t had a different outline to it. That's not good. That's not good at all. But yes, there are things that you could definitely do with Stardust. And that's a good, there's a good ideas there. There's, there's good ideas there, but I'm not sure. Like I would like to know E's experience with forms, not like having to run a form, but just like how often did he interact with form boards? And at any point in time, did he interact with the moderation of form boards? Especially because I dealt with the moderation of form boards during when Discord started. So having the... There were so many discussions between of what value does a form board bring in a Discord world. And how they are currently dying. And how... What would be a good way to help them come back? Especially, like, I'm into Fediverse stuff like Lemmy, which is a Reddit alternative, but it is a form board. Um, so... Yeah, I have questions, but, uh, it's too... It's too long for, like, a... 
a question on Discord. I need, like, a long discussion about that. But it sounds like, definitely sounds like something that's far in the future, which is unfortunate because I think it's a fantastic idea. I've wanted to make a form board so maybe we could do stuff. Because I run my own Lemmy instance. Like, if you don't know about Fediverse and whatever, Lemmy is like an alternative to Reddit, but all the Lemmys can talk to each other. I pay a server to run a Lemmy instance that's about VTubers, streamers, pixel art, low poly, etc. There's not a lot of users on it, but um, I have a decent amount. Um, I don't even know how I can check how many users I have. It's currently not loading. That's Oh, I currently have an error. Fuck, why do I have an error? Shit! I am experienced, I know how to do blah blah blah. <laughs> and then here I am, I don't really like running. Uh, everything looks fine, huh? Why is my... I'm not getting a lot of traffic either, I'm only at 25% CPU. Why is my- okay. Well, when it's working, it's working. <laughs> but I have a Lemmy, and then I, like, I moderate, and I, uh, I create communities, I create sub-communities that have their own, like, sort of, uh, forms, and people create their own for user-generated content, and I have a small little community that just works together, uh, to- to create stuff. Like, I'm making my own community. It's just not about me. I didn't make it specifically for for me. I made it for a general purpose, but I am running a forum right now for the purpose of a small community focused on streamers. So, I would... I would like to have a chat with, uh... This room has been no longer... The conversation continues here. Okay, that was something. I was wondering if anyone had talked to me on Matrix about like why my <laughs> why my browser la. Hold on, let me um. I will quickly SSH into my uh server and restart it. Let's see, Remote Explorer. SSH. We're gonna go into server, I think. No, we're gonna go into. We're going to go into root. So I need to... Figure out why... What's happening? My former streams from old Bleach ones when Bleach was airing. Area games form when they were still called Area Games and Fancy Star Online form. But I really use those time drifting away from forms and social. Back connection one two three forwarding. Techno server configuration. Okay, let's try not. Oh, I am on there. Okay, hold on. Uh, section. View terminal. Terminal. New terminal. Okay. Uh, ls restart server sh see if there's any errors of why that's not working because i do check it at least mostly daily i think i approved someone this morning so i don't know why it would be down and what's wrong with it ui postgres default driver Restarting, restarting, dun 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 dun. I don't know if there's been a Lemmy update that I might have to look at. Okay. Refresh. Live, my child, live! How about Control Shift R? Do the hard refresh. Uh... Now the 
that's not working, even though I just refreshed the server. So it all says done. There we go. It came up. Okay, it just took a second. So, like, um, I don't have the... I need to get the prettier uh, thing. But if you've seen up there on my website, is this website... I run this website. And, um... Let's see. It has 58 users... It doesn't really have a lot of people per day or s things like that. But like, I... Red sure we have introductions, I've got the meta one, uh, things like that. Um, cause I made stuff for VTubers, but it doesn't really happen. Like, if you cl click on communities, there's virtual YouTubers, but like, no one really posts there, but... What happened a lot is that the, the, uh, pixel art one got really popular compared to other pixel art, um uh stuff like there are because like the whole thing about the fediverse is that like i have 58 users but there are actually um 293 users who subscribe to my pixel art uh, community um because people can participate even if they're not in my fan form if you would call it such such like that um i used to have a really nice graphic but then it broke and then i haven't updated the graphic <laughs> so i would be I would chomping, be chomping at the bit to discuss with E about what he thinks about fan forms and what his staff's experience uh, is and his own experiences with forms. Um, cause I'm not like an expert or anything, but I did deal with the administration duties of a, of the Poke community forms in the transition before and in the transition between just the forms, the transition to discord of if it's a discord replacement or not um and then also dealing with things like lemmy and things like that like introducing a a type of a form system that has upvotes downvotes things like that it's not super popular but uh i still don't have emails working because <laughs> uh uh linode servers it's, it's on a little tiny baby linode server thing so yeah i have thoughts so we're gonna turn this on for a second um and i'm gonna skip through to see if there's anything else manager, um told me he's like if you're afraid uh of not streaming that the pro problem is like uh you're